Good morning. Today we're Numbers 22, 23, and 24. In the 22nd chapter, And the children of Israel set forward and pitched in the plains of Moab on this side of Jordan by Jericho. And Balak, the son of Zippor, saw all that Israel had done to the Amorites. And Moab was sore afraid of the people, because they were many. And Moab was distressed because of the children of Israel. And Moab said unto the elders of Midian, Now shall this company lick up all that are round about us, as the ox licketh up the grass of the field, and Balak the son of Zippor was king of the Moabites at that time. He sent messengers therefore unto Balaam the son of Beor to Pethor, which is by the river of the land of the children of his people, to call him, saying, Behold, there is a people come out from Egypt. Behold, they cover the face of the earth, and they abide over against me. Come now, therefore, I pray thee, curse me this people, that they are too mighty for me. Peradventure I shall prevail, that we may smite them and that I may drive them out of the land. For I wot that he whom thou blessed is blessed, and he whom thou cursest is cursed. And the elders of Moab, the elders of Midian, departed with the rewards of their divination in their hand, and they came unto Balaam, and spake unto them the words of Balak. And he said unto them, Lodge here this night, and I will bring you word again, as the Lord shall speak unto me, and the princes of Moab abode with Balaam. And God came unto Balaam, and said, what men are these with thee? And Balaam said unto God, Balak the son of Zippor, king of Moab, hath sent unto me, saying, Behold, there is a people come out of Egypt which covereth the face of the earth. Come now, curse me them. Peradventure I shall be over, able to overcome them and drive them out. And God said unto Balaam, Thou shalt not go with them. Thou shalt not curse the people, for they are blessed. And Balaam rose up in the morning and said unto the princes of Balak, Get you into your land, for the Lord refuseth to give me, leave you, go with you. And the princes of Moab rose up, and they went unto Balak, and said, Balaam refuseth to come with us. And Balak sent yet again princes, more and more honorable than they. And they came to Balaam and said to him, Thus, say, thus saith Balak, the son of Zippor, Let nothing, I pray thee, hinder thee from coming unto me. For I will promote thee unto a very great honor, and I will do whatsoever thou sayest unto me. Come therefore, I pray thee, curse me this people. And Balaam answered and said unto the servants of Balak, If Balak would give me his house full of silver and gold, I cannot go beyond the word of the Lord, my God, to do less or more. Now therefore, I pray ye tarry ye here also this night that I may know what the Lord will say unto me more. And God came unto Balaam at night and said unto him, If the men come to call thee, rise up and go with them. But yet the word of the Lord, which I shall say unto thee, that thou shalt do. And Balaam rose up in the morning and saddled his ass and went with the princes of Moab. And God's anger was kindled because he went. And the angel of the Lord stood in the way for an adversary against him. Now he was riding upon his ass, and his two servants were with him. And the ass saw the angel of the Lord standing in the way, and his sword drawn in his hand. And the ass turned aside out of the way and went into the field. And Balaam smote the ass to turn her into the way. But the angel of the Lord stood in the path of the vineyards, a wall being on this side, a wall being on that side. And when the ass saw the angel of the Lord, she thrust herself into the wall and crushed Balaam's foot against the wall, and he smote her again. And the angel of the Lord went further and stood in a narrow place where there was no way to turn either to the right hand or to the left. And when the ass saw the angel of the Lord, she fell under Balaam, and Balaam's anger was kindled, and he smote the ass with the staff. And the Lord opened the mouth of the ass and said unto Balaam, what have I done unto thee, that thou hast smitten me these three times? And Balaam said unto the ass, Because thou hast mocked me, I would there were a sword in my hand, for now would I kill thee. And the ass said unto Balaam, Am not I thine ass, upon which thou hast ridden, ever since I was in until this day? Was I ever wont to do so unto thee? And he said, Nay. Then the Lord opened the eyes of Balaam, and he saw the angel of the Lord standing in the way, and his sword drawn in his hand, and he bowed down his head and fell flat on his face. And the angel of the Lord said unto him, Wherefore hast thou smitten thine ass these three times? Behold, I went out to withstand thee, because thy way is perverse before me. And the ass saw me and turned from me these three times. Unless she had turned from me, surely now... Also I had slain thee and saved her alive. 
And Balaam said unto the angel of the Lord, I have sinned, for I knew not that thou stoodest in the way against me. Now therefore, if it pleases thee, I will get me back again. And the angel of the Lord said unto Balaam, Go with the men, but only with the word that I shall speak unto them, thou shalt speak. So Balaam went with the princes of Balak. And when Balak heard that Balaam was come, he went out to meet him into a city of Moab, which is the border of Arnon, which is the utmost coast. And Balak said unto Balaam, Did I not earnestly send unto thee to call thee? Wherefore camest thou not unto me? Am I not able to indeed promote thee to honor? And Balaam said to Balak, Lo, I am come unto thee, and I now have any power. I have I now any power to say anything? The word that God putteth in my mouth, that shall I speak. And Balaam went with Balak, and they come unto Kirjathatha. And Balak offered oxen and sheep and sent to Balaam and to the princes that were with him. And it came to pass on the morrow that Balak took Balaam and brought him up into the high places of Baal, that thence he might see the utmost part of the people. Numbers 23, And Balaam said unto Balak, Build me here seven altars, and prepare me the seven oxen and seven rams. And Balak did as Balaam had spoken. And Balak and Balaam offered every altar a bullock and a ram. And Balaam said unto Balak, Stand by thy burnt offering, and I will go. Peradventure the Lord will come to meet me, and whatever whatsoever he showeth me, I will tell thee. And he went to a high place. And God met Balaam, and he said unto him, I have prepared seven altars, and I have offered upon every altar a bullock and a ram. And the Lord put a word in Balaam's mouth, and said, Return unto Balak, and thus thou shalt speak. And he returned unto him, and lo, he stood by his burnt sacrifice, he and all the princes of Moab. And he took up his parable and said, Balak the king of Moab hath brought me from Aram, out of the mountains of the east, saying, Come, curse me, Jacob, and come, defy Israel. How shall I curse whom God hath not cursed? Or how shall I defy whom the Lord hath not defied? For from the tops of the rocks I see him, and from the hills I behold him. Lo, the people shall dwell along, and shall not be reckoned among the nations. Who can count the dusk of Jacob and the number of the fourth part of Israel? Let me die the, death, the death of righteousness, and let my last end be like his. And Balak said unto Balaam, What hast thou done unto me? I took thee to curse mine enemies, and behold, thou hast blessed them altogether. And he answered and said, Must I not take heed to speak that which the Lord hath put in my mouth? And Balak said unto him, Come, I pray thee, with me into another place, from whence thou mayest see them. Thou shalt see the utmost part of them, and shalt not see them at all, and curse me from thence. And he brought him into the field of Zophim, the top of Pisgah, and built seven altars, and offered a bullock and ram on every altar. And he said unto Balak, Stand here by thy burnt offering, while I meet the Lord yonder. And the Lord met Balaam, and he put a word in his mouth, and said, Go again unto Balak, and say thus. And when he came to him, behold, he stood by his burnt offering, and the princes of Moab with him. And Balak said unto him, What hath the Lord spoken? And he took up his parable, and said, Rise up, Balak, in the heart, in here, and hearken unto me, thou son of Zippor. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. He has said, and he shall not do it. Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Behold, I have conceived commandment to bless, and he hath blessed, and I cannot reverse it. He hath not beheld iniquity in Jacob, neither hath he seen pers perverseness in the Israel. But the Lord his God is with him, and the shout of a king is among them. God brought them out of Egypt. He has as it were the strength of a unicorn. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, What hath God wrought? Behold, the people shall rise up as a great lion, and lift himself as a young lion, and he shall not lie down until he eat of the prey, and drink of the blood of the slain. And Balak said unto Balaam, Neither curse them at all, nor bless them at all. But Balaam answereth and said unto Balak, Told not I thee, saying, All that the Lord speaketh, that must I do. And Balak said unto Balaam, Come, I pray thee, I will bring thee into another place. Peradventure it will please God, that thou mayest curse me from them thence. And Balak brought Balaam unto the top of Peor, and looked toward Jessamon. And Balaam 
said unto Balak, Build me here seven altars, and prepare me here seven bullocks and seven rams. And Balak did as Balaam had said, and offered a bullock and a ram on every altar. Numbers chapter 24, And when Balaam saw that it pleased the Lord to bless Israel, he went not, as in other times, to seek for enchantments, but he set his face toward the wilderness. And Balaam lifted up his eyes, and he saw Israel abiding in his tents according to their tribes, and the Spirit of God came upon him. And he took up his parable and said, Balaam the son of Beor has said, The man whose eyes are open has said, and he has said, which heard the words of God, which saw the vision of the Almighty, falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. How goodly are thy tents, O Jacob, and thy tabernacles, O Israel. As the valleys are spread forth as gardens by the riverside, as trees of the line of lows which the Lord hath planted, and as cedar trees beside this water. He shall pour the water out of his buckets, and his seed shall be in many waters, and his king shall be higher than Agog, and his kingdom shall be exalted. God brought him forth out of Egypt. He hath, as it were, the strength of a unicorn. He shall eat up the nations of his enemies and shall break their bones and pierce them through with his arrows. He couched as he lay down as a lion and a great lion who shall stir him up. Blessed is he that blesseth thee and cursed is he that curseth thee. And Balak's anger was kindled against Balaam and he smote his hands together and Balak said unto Balaam, I called thee to curse mine enemies and behold, thou hast altogether blessed them these three times. Therefore now flee thou to thy place. I thought to promote to thee and to the great honor, but lo, the Lord hath kept thee back from honor. And Balaam said unto Balak, Spake I not also to thy messengers which thou sentest to me, saying, If Balak would give me his house full of silver and gold, I could not go beyond the commandment of the Lord, to do either good or bad in my own mind. But what the Lord hath said, that will I speak. And now, behold, I go unto my people. Come therefore, and I will advertise thee what this people shall do to thy people in the latter days. And he took up his parable and said, Balaam the son of Beor has said, and the man whose eyes are open has said, he has said, which have heard the words of God, and knew the knowledge of the Most High, which saw the vision of the Almighty falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not now. There shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel, and shall smite the corners of Moab, and destroy all the children of Sheth. And Edom shall be a possession. Seir also shall be a possession for his enemies, and Israel shall do valiantly. All out of the Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion, and shall destroy him that remaineth the city. And when he looked on Amalek, he, looked up, he took up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. And he looked on the Kenites and took up his parable and said, Strong is thy dwelling place, and thou puttest thy nest in a rock. Nevertheless, the Kenites shall be wasted until Asher shall carry thee away captive. And he took up his parable and said, Alas, and who shall live? Live when God doeth this, and ships shall come from coast to coast of Shittim, and shall afflict Asher, and shall afflict Eber, and shall also he perish forever. And Balaam rose up and went and returned to his place, and Balak also went his way.